Hello. Uh, one of the most famous stories in the Bible is David and Goliath. And there's definitely a lot to learn from the story. And you often hear whenever someone smaller is fighting someone bigger, they'll kind of, you know, say, hey, that's, a, you know, David and Goliath type lesson. And uh, I want to just take a few minutes to read the scripture uh, related to that story. And then, you know, talk about some key factors that we want to, you know, keep in mind from it. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, this is a bit long. It's going to be 1 Samuel 17, verse 40 to 51. So, uh, uh, so uh, then, staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in his pocket of the shepherd's bag. With his swing sling already to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he has seized David up and seen that he was useful and ruddy and handsome in appearance, he held him in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come against me with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods, and said to him, Come here to me, and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and sycamore, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day, I will leave your corpse and the corpse of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus, the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude too shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David ran quickly towards the battle line in the direction of the Philistine. David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone, hurled it with the sling, and struck the Palestine in the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow, and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and dead it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him with the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from its sheath, and dispatched him and cut off his head. So once again, a uh, good story, and there's some uh, background in chapter 17 and also some uh, uh, stuff following that, what I would encourage you to read. But I do want to uh, talk about a few key things. And once again, a lot of people kind of, I think, kind of miss the point. And while it's nice to look at a small person overcoming a larger person, the real key is God can overcome all odds. And, you know, David knew that it wasn't him that beat up Goliath. It was really because he was following God's will and God was using him. And, uh, you know, he says in here, uh, the Lord shall deliver you uh, into my hand. Uh, for the battle is the Lord's and he shall deliver you into our hand. So he really clearly understood that um, God was the one that was enabling him to overcome Goliath. So when we uh, keep this in mind, I think that's important. And there's many times in the Old Testament where the Israelites conquered bigger nations and, you know, uh, you had, uh, you know, cases where they would have an army of like 300 fighting thousands and, and all sorts of stuff if you read, you know, Judges and Joshua and those sort of things. So uh, the key is if you're fighting God's battle, it really doesn't matter how big the opponent is, how numerous, with the quality of their weapons, whatever. Um, God will win. And if you're fighting with him, you're going to win. Um, I do think we often hear of small women uh, fighting off bigger attackers. And I think kind of, you know, the, the David and Goliath thing kind of comes to our mind. But I think it's really probably more God is with them since they are fighting evil. 
Um, and I do think if you're fighting to protect your life and your loved ones, then God will often be at your side and he will uh, help you in those battles. So, you know, take, take a look at David and Goliath. Once again, there's a lot to learn. I would encourage you to read the whole chapter 17 <coughs> and uh, look at uh, what lessons you can get from it. But uh, God is the, uh, the what makes the difference. Uh, thank you and have a blessed day.